it as we got down here weather change rain wind you name it the whole lot oh finally made it down here we're on gasworks beach so the local call it and so i've been seeing online uh, it says the fish are tied up from low till End of the session. Five doggies. Nothing amazing. But you win some, you lose some. Been down. Uh, I fish my head now, so at least I can tick that off in my book. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out anymore this week. Just purely because we're on holiday and I don't want to take the mick. But yeah, so give it a good bash. Uh, if you don't try, you don't know. You hear all these crazy reports of these brilliant fish coming off, but they all seem to go the other way when I come down here. <laughs> I mean, I'll even come down in the winter for cod and. But one time I'll come down here for the cod, didn't catch any cod, 15 pound conga, complete opposite fish. And then the other time I come down here I had about 20 cod, but they were tiny. Alright, cod's a cod, but... We'll get there. We'll get some decent fish under my belt. Just, uh hope you can bear with me <laughs> I'm really trying my hardest I push all the time I'm out all the time you guys don't see it but I tend not to film half the sessions I mean I can if, if you guys comment below and say you want to see the sessions where it's really hard going and blanks and stuff like that and comment comment it away and let me know but yeah, I do. I fish a lot. A hell of a lot. Like after work, I'll go out two or three hours. I'll find low water marks. If the tide's not right, I'll, I'll always try. And if that ain't the case, then I'll always be out bait collecting or talking to people about where, where they're catching and what they're doing. Fishing's such a massive part of my life. Massive. And I will admit, and I don't want to like be the generic angler, but I do. I do have mental health, and this is just the, the way to do it. This is this is my release. This is my get out. Whether I'm catching or not, I mean, yeah, I do get really frustrated. Like yesterday, really, really frustrated. when you, you plan something and the wind kicks up or it just uh, something that isn't working for you and it, it does it really beats me up but as of most fishing right place right time knowing the tides knowing the winds and knowing where to go on them tides and winds there'll always be fish always be fish but you've got to know where to go with them tides and them, them winds so down here this is completely new to me try to do as much research as i can but this is yeah this is all completely new to me i know a lot of people were saying um easterly winds don't bother down here but that's literally the only information I could find regarding tides, winds up up this far in the channel. I know the bottom end of the channel, Seven Beach, along that way, fish a lot better on the bigger tides. Um, 
Yeah, so this is uh, this has all been very new to me, but I've been out there. I'll give it a crack, and we can just learn from it, can't we? So, yeah, guys, tight lines. I'll see you on the next one. Look at that. So nice. Not much surf on, but down here anyway. But it is absolutely lovely. So I'll, um, I'll finish my fag. I'll get some shot cleaner on my reels because yesterday they all, well, when I had enough, I just. I was winching through everything, I weren't playing, playing it, I just had enough. So I ended up cracking off two rigs, but that is that is fishing at the end of the day. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you gain. But on the outside, I went down here to um, get some walk from your crabs and found another two rigs and weights. Probably weren't used to rigs, enough, nothing special, but gained two weights out of it so I haven't really lost. I picked up a load of shop leader and that off the beach yesterday. Just people that have crapped off. You just sort of walk down and just just pick it up if you see it. You don't want to leave it in there. One is going to get tangled in your lines and cause you problems, especially if it's right out in front of you. And two cleans up our beaches. I mean, I'm not from round this way, but I can honestly say these beaches are spotless. Other than the odd shop leader here and there, obviously from Krakos, but you can't help them. Yeah, yeah no, this is, um, this looks like a good morning. I mean, there's a little bit of weed in the water, but nothing that's gonna stop you fishing. I'll be pulling it in, obviously, but I'll have to wind well, I like crazy to get it up and over. These, these, the, I don't want to say pebbles, they're not, they're like boulders. They get bigger when you go down. You can imagine how hard, how hard it is getting up over that, but where the tide line is now, it's pretty much the end of the, the shingle onto sand. It's not majorly far, but you want to be quite a bit past it because obviously the tide's going to swing you around and you don't want to be swung around into it so I had the same rods as yesterday I don't know whether to walk over to the point or not or if I should just fish here because yesterday when it was low water I marked out that bang in front of this boat there's a big sand patch whereas over there it's very uh, broken ground and I mean don't get me wrong broken broken ground can be good for fishing really good but do I want to keep tying shot leaders all morning that's the question because you can guarantee if you get snagged it's going at the shot leader it ain't going at the rig especially when you're using ray rigs and hounds when you're using 40 pound plus snoods and your main line's only 18 18 pound it's gonna go out the shop leader, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, finish my fag. I'm not in no rush this morning. I'm only gonna fish for a few hours, up till about nine, half nine, and then I'll go back and we'll, uh, me and the missus will go about a day. Yeah, I was so disheartened yesterday. So, so disheartened with that wind. That's fishing sometimes, so I said to the missus, I'm gonna get up early so it don't affect our day. Get out of there fishing. Right, I'll bring you back once I'm on the beach. Hi oh guys, we're all set up. 3500, 7HT, you know the works. Tip Tornado, Supercast, same as yesterday. Right, on the 3500, we've got a up and over pulley rig with sand eel and squid wrap uh, 3040 on there and we've got on the sentry we've got a 7 ounce lead nice peel of crab bait on a really short pulley 
pulley rig, pulley panel. Nice and simple. I believe that's 3020 on there. Uh, yeah, let's keep fingers crossed and see what happens. Cool. Well, not exactly what I was after, but can you really say it saves a blank? I guess you can. It's uh, not a bad little dogfish trying to wrap me. Look, good job I've got sleeves on. I've had quite a few good bites. I mean, on the crab, I had a cracking bite that missed it. Um, yeah, I'll get this little guy back. And uh, hopefully St. Decent comes along. Well, here we are. Blew up a reel. The uh, 7HT Super Tune. Shop leader went. Blew that up. So I'm back to my old trusty 7HT tournament. My only concern with that is it hasn't got a very fast retrieve, so I'm going to have to wind like the fuck to get it in. Over the shingle. It's just going to be a pain in the backside, but hey. Um, just a quick one. I thought I'd bring it back. A lot of people's views on using two of the same rod or... Because I know a lot of people run matching pairs. I tend not to do that. I tend to use a lighter one for the scratching around and stuff like that. And then I'll always put out a bigger bait too. So I'll always have a bigger rod. The winch power. But... Yeah, I know that quite a few people that use two of the same rods. I personally don't own a pair, that's a lie actually. I own two six and baits, Mark 1s. But I, I, I generally don't run pairs. I'll always have it. Like, I love that dream machine for the light work. It's a shame I couldn't use it down here. It's only 11 and a half foot, but it's an half width. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a bit... Um, the only thing with using two separate rods is obviously they're cast different. I mean, if I'm using the Dream Machine and the uh, Tip Tornado, it's a completely different ball game. So you've got to know how your rod's cast, but I've never really had an issue with that. Oh, that was a good tug. Just had a bite on the right hand rod, that's sand deal. But that's another doggy. I've upscaled the hooks on that because the last doggy I had swallowed them right down and there was no way I was getting them out. So hopefully, literally no way. I felt so bad, but at the same time, I know dogfish can uh, regurgitate and get them out. If you leave them in a bucket, bucket of water, which I haven't got a bucket, which is annoying. They do generally spit the hooks back out. That's another doggy on there. Don't know if you can see that knocking, guys. Yeah, that's another doggy. I have been told they're quite prolific down here when using sand eel baits. But the sand eel is what the, the sand eel and squid is what the uh, rays are coming out on down here, so. I just have to try and battle through them. Oh, but there's another doggy on there. Can't moan, I'm catching. But I'm catching them down my way. Hundreds of the bloody things. Especially at Deal. you got to be in it to win it. Two rods out. I'm going to finish this fag. I'll wait to see if that nods anymore. If it nods again, I'll reel it in. If it don't, I'm going to change the peeler first because that's been out for about 40 minutes, which is a bit naughty. Generally speaking, I like to leave... Oh, here it goes. Right, all right, guys, I'll bring it back. Well, I missed the one on the uh, 3500, but reading in the uh, sentry to change the crab. Yep. Another one. Yeah, <laughs>
か。はい。Another catch. I didn't even see that one bounce, to be fair. So stiff. Ah,、oh, let's get you back in. Get me. I don't like throwing them in, but one eye, what the weight is on. Two. I don't fancy going into the Crystal Channel. The tide here is immense. Sometimes you just got to wait on your option. I'd rather not be dragged out, to be honest. But yeah, he、uh, mullered that crab. That was a nice little bait on there, and he mullered it. So, we'll、uh, get this all set back up and get her out there. Well, number three on the sand here. And,、uh, if I get any more, I won't bring you back. I'll just let you know at the end of the session how many were. The tank special turns up, and I'll,、uh, I'll obviously show you guys. All right, let's get this one back out. Morning, everyone. Well, the video you just seen、uh, didn't go too well. The winds really picked up. Like really, really picked up, and、uh, to be honest, I was really, really disheartened because I come all this way. I was so excited about fishing, and、uh, like everyone was saying, fish the tide low up, and well, I think I just got all the timings wrong, and it just everything was against me.、Uh, the tide was going out,、uh, and any user know the Bristol Channel. The tide goes out so quick and comes in so quick, but I caught it right at that wrong time where it was all sort of turning, taking its time,、uh, and the winds just really, really picked up. And I just, it was getting to the point where the missus was getting battered on the beach, I was getting battered standing down the bottom, and I just had to call it. It, it just wasn't pleasant. I know a lot of sea fishing isn't. Pleasant, but I'm on holiday and I, I didn't want to even miss it sitting on the beach really. And it was just really hard going yesterday. So woke up earlyish. Woke up at five, half five. It's now six o'clock. I tides at quarter to nine.、Uh, so I'm gonna、uh, fish the tide right up. Uh, you do need to give it quite a fair whack to、uh, to get over the shingle. I don't know about shingle, giant pebbles, to have any chance of getting your gear back. But do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. I come down here last night. Me and the missus went arcades, had a bit of fun, and、uh, it's literally round the corner from where I'm staying. So I said to her, I said, "Do you mind if we go round there and have a look at high tide?" We pop round. There's a couple of people fishing the high tide.、Uh, someone had a nice ray, a conga, and then you just get your normal generic fishermen, like hobby hobbyists, if you get what if you get what I'm saying. That just come down for a couple of hours and they was on the dogfish all night. But again, they was just using squid and free at flappers. Then that sort of fish fishermen, which I've got nothing against. Nothing at all. If that's what floats your boat, and、well, go for it. I mean, I know people that are out be catching dogfish all day, but I wouldn't be doing the YouTube if I didn't like catching the decent stuff. Yeah, it's so nice out this morning, guys. I've not been out the motor yet. I'm not going to lie, so I don't know what the wind's like. But looking at the trees, there's hardly any wind. I'll um, I flip the camera around so I can show you. It's annoying you can't do it on iPhone when you're recording, but yeah, I'll just quickly flip the camera around, guys, and I'll、uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what it's like down here in the day.